Next, I would like to do a Western style with uh, the hair on cow and a tooled piece of leather I've done for the cuff. So I will first of all decide where I'm going to put my front and then I will turn it over and I will place the template as you can see. Now I will take a pen and I will trace around the outside of my template. And like I did with the suede, I'm going to use the roller knife to do my cutting. And as I did before, I will use a straight edge whenever I can. I find with the hair on cow, the shears works well to cut the rounded corners. For the back side of my one with the hair on cow, I'm going to use a piece of chap leather, so I will turn it over on the back side and making sure that I have my template uh, properly uh, on the right side. So now I can do the same thing with my pen, I can mark for the cutting line. And as before, I will use the roller knife to cut this leather. I always like to use a roller knife when cutting softer leather. And as I did before, I'm using the shears to cut my curved lines. Next, I will cement my tool piece onto the hair cow, and I will hold it, uh, as you can see, in position. I'll flip it over, and then I will cement up to that line. I'm going to do it now with a dauber, and I will make sure I do not get any onto the tooled leather piece. Then I will completely cover this area of the hair cow. making sure I get up to the top edge. Now I will also cover the back side of our tool piece, being careful not to get any onto the, the hair. And then we will sit this aside and let it dry until it gets tacky. After my cement has dried until it's tacky, I can now very, very carefully place my tooled piece onto the hair cow. Press it down. Now I will Take a wing divider 
and I will scribe a line one eighth inch from the edge across the top and across the bottom. Next with the four prong stitching chisel I will start about a quarter of an inch in from the end. I will punch all the way through the tooled piece and through the hair cow. And I will do the same thing across the top. And now I'm using the two needle saddle stitching method and I will stitch all the way across this line and also across the top. After we have uh, completed our stitching we can now prepare to cement the back to the front. And we'll do that by putting a a line of cement about a quarter of an inch wide all the way down the edges and the foot. We do not put any along the top of either piece. I have allowed my cement to dry until it's tacky and now I can very carefully Line it up by the edge and the top and slowly but surely stick it in place and then rub it down. I have decided to do a whip stitch around the edge of this stocking with 1 8 inch leather lace so the first thing I'll do is take my wing divider and scribe a line one eighth inch is wide along the top as you can see. And now I will take the one eighth inch thonging chisel. I will punch all the way through. I will do that. all the way down to the end of the tooled piece of leather. I will do that on both of the edges. Since it's very difficult to see where you're punching, where we have the, the hair cow, I'm going to now turn this over and I will begin punching from the other side. And I will first, of course, make my line one eighth of an inch in from the edge. Now I will punch all the way around to the other side. And now, as you can see, I will do the whip stitch and stitch all the way around the outside of my Christmas stocking. It's also a good idea to put a loop to hang the, the stocking on the fireplace. And to do that, I'll take a round drive punch and right in the corner, 
I will punch all the way through all of the thicknesses. And then I will take a piece of the same lace we used to lace around the outside. And I will go through the hole, as you can see. And then uh, I will make an overhand knot in the back with both thicknesses, or with both strands. Pull it up tight. And we have a nice loop to hang this stocking on the fireplace.